Hello. I bought this grid tie inverter and it uh, violated one of my basic principles. Don't buy anything that someone else has worked on first. <clears throat> this was for a wind turbine and uh, it shorted out during a storm with high winds and the guy tried to fix it and eventually he gave up and sold it to me. So basically as I got it he said the 40 amp fuse would keep blowing. And so we had a short somewhere. Now usually you can just put an ohmmeter on the FET from the source to the gate and you can buy and find a, a bad FET. Generally always the, sh the gate will short out. Uh, but all these FETs uh, tested fine. So what I had to do is I have my constant current power supply here and I set it about 3 volts and about 4 amps and uh, I connected this up to the negative and I have this little adapter which uh, plugs right into the fuse holder so they, that gave me my plus and minus now with that I could feed about four amps in because it was like a dead short this thing had multiple inverters on it so it had four FETs that could have shorted out and what you can do is just measure from the positive to the FET with current going through it and the one leg of the four that has the highest voltage shows you where the short is. Now what happened with this guy is uh, he replaced the bad part but he replaced it with something that was even worse. What it was supposed to be was a PK6KE68 which is a suppression diode much like a Zener and it cl starts clamping at 68 volts and what he did was and it's pretty easy to do on eBay because sometimes they put a decimal point and it's hard to even see he bought one that was 6.8 volts and so he put four of those in and of course the first time he tried uh, powering it up it shorted all out so uh, I have it working now but basically because there's relays or FETs or something that turns the power on and off to this section you want to go to the two main power strips one will be the transformer which always goes to the center tap and the other goes to the sources of the of the FETs now if you don't have a nice constant current power supply you can always take a lamp something like a car headlight which will be four or five amps anything over two amps probably gives you enough voltage so you can look and find what is shorted out so you can look for the highest voltage across the transformer or the lowest voltage across the FETs and that's my little service tip for today thanks for watching